All right, so today we're going to be looking at subtransit, and um, you hear that? You hear that silence? The computer fan. She's gone. Because I got a new computer. Uh, Intel Core i9 uh, 12900F, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, 400 uh, gigs solid state drive, and a GeForce RTX 30, 3060 tie. So that means we're just going to go on and keep doing the same thing we've always been doing because this game clearly needs those system specs. So yeah, Subtransit in Opposing Force, this definitely had a lot brought to the table now. Like, this is already a pretty, pretty solid map, but the Opposing Force, um, like, embellishments, if you will, really elevate this to, like, a top-tier, super granddaddy awesome map. So, you know, I'm going to sip this coffee here. I say sip, I mean I'm going to drink the whole fucking thing. I'll do that after. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's it's good. Let's check it out. I'm trying to wonder where I want to start. We'll start in the courtyard. It always feels about right. Yeah, so there's someone just got blown up by the claymores. They're still there. If you remember from the original version, there's claymores here for reasons. Uh, so yeah, you can see we got some spore uh, balls there. You got the ladder still. You still have the gauze in the exact same spot, and I would imagine you'd still need to fall down. Because, as far as I'm aware, there is, um, no, like, you sort of, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Place to latch on with the barnacle in this map. Or, I mean, here, anyway. There actually is one really good, um, barnacle spawn that does wonders for, like, the flow in the middle. But, yeah, so as you can see, instead of the, uh, e like, the uh, Egon, because, you know, we're just... We're scientifically not allowed to have Egons in maps anymore in this game. Um, it's the MP40 or MP50, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, get that instead, you know, because that, that's probably going to be a good job. It's going to do some decent damage, if you will. So let's head down this way while I just I adjust things real quick. Get out of the way, phone cord. I don't I don't need you over there. Okay. Oh, I've got I pressed the console. Oh, no. So, yeah, if you head down this way, this is where you can grab the barnacle. So you want to make note of that. So, also, too, if someone's obviously following you in the water, that's a good way to deal with them. So if we come this way... We have this little area, which is still the same in terms of, like, this is a little shortcut from the other water area. Of course, now, of course, you got a spore. Which, you know, there's still not enough spores in this map. Like, balls. It, like, you know, I, I keep saying balls. They're just spores. There are more than average for, like, you know, some of these Half-Life 2 uh, opposing force could, like, conversions. But still not, not enough for me. My taste, you know? But, yeah, anyway, right here is the goddamn, go like, you know, displacer. Because why not? You know, you think this would have been really well hidden, but no, it's just right there. So, you know, definitely you want to grab that ASAP. Get the shotgun and get the explosives, always good stuff. Activate the, like, the tram ASAP because, you know, it's just not, it's not really in the spirit of the things if you don't activate that and let it run and kill people. Like, for shame. For shame. So, yeah, we're not going to talk about the inside areas here just yet, but as you can see, uh, you can grab a wrench now, which, you know, it's a wrench. Considering that there's some, like some tight quarters here that might be useful. Um, we'll talk about the water areas in a bit too. Make sure you always duck, pro tip. Don't want to get run over. So if you head this way. I bring this up. Oh yeah, by the way. Look at this flow right here. You can actually get right up. So that's what I mean. These this is not the this is the one of like only I think two areas where they added spore launch spore like balls like spawners in the intent of you actually like launching yourself with them. But as you can see, that like gives you a major strategic advantage now that you didn't have originally because now you can get right the fuck back up there and deal with whoever's up there. It's great. I love it. So yeah, there you go. That's the whole little circle here. So let's start talking about some of the other areas here. We'll go into the little water area next because why not? So if you're come down this way, um, you can see this is mostly the same so far. Uh, obviously grab the ammo and the satchel there. Um... They didn't bother to fix the Z-fighting, that's what you call this, and it triggers me and it makes me feel very d dirty things. So we'll just not look at that too much. Uh, but yeah, this works about the same. You open that wheel and here you go, you can get back out to the spore area. But now we're gonna have to come back down and look at this again. <laughs> Don't wanna look at that. Ugh. Goodness gracious. So you can come this way to get a shotgun and get back up to this central area here if you so choose. Or you can go this way. I have no comment. Um, if you come this way, there's not really much in terms of what- No, 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 there's- a, I always forget about this SMG here. Definitely grab that and get the AR grenades. 
And you can also come here and get back to the, uh, central area here. Or the, not the central area. The, uh, tram area. So let's talk about, uh, what are we going to talk about? Let's talk about the central area next. So yeah, this is still a big open area with an SMG in it. Not much, too much has changed on this part. Um, they have the crossbow here still, so definitely use that if you want to get some easy sniping. We will go over here first, because why not? I'm get, I always get lost talking about this map. You know, it's not a super confusing map in terms of playing it, but I always just have to end up getting lost anyway, because I'm a fucking charlatan. Obviously, yeah, this is that one area we latched to earlier. We'll just talk about this real quick. As you can see here, there's also... Uh, I always forget about the... I forgot about this one. You can get all the way up from here now. If you have the barnacle up into here. And you can even hide up in the... Uh, the uh, vent... Or the, onto the vents if you want. Though, there is no new items on here. It is a little bit tricky. You want to get some momentum first. There you go. There's nothing actually up there. But, you know, it's an option now. You can do it. And, yeah, I guess we're back in the center area. This is where you can get another... Uh, Machine gun, and we'll talk about that area in a bit later. So let's just finish talking about here. Get the charger. Always good stuff. And I do believe... Uh, no, never mind. I'm thinking of the wrong thing. So let's first just go this way. And we'll start talking about this area again. Um, if you want to come up here... Uh, you can find that one conveyor belt and some crossbow, crossbow ammo. So yeah, if you don't have, like, the... Like, the... What's the word I'm looking for? The gauze itself or like any other sort of way to get up here. That's how you can grab and get onto the gauze You know, there must be a better way to get that and I just don't realize it because I'm an idiot Of course, I'm gonna miss getting back on the conveyor belt again Can I redeem? Never mind. I, I just there is no hope society is over anyway, so get back up here And obviously if you come this way, there's nothing too much new here. You can still grab the rocket launcher So that's good stuff you know, it's always good to have a rocket launcher. I don't think many people would disagree with that. Uh, coming over here, you get a Desert Eagle. You know, that could be fun, I suppose. Um, and then you can come over here to get the Sniper Rifle. And as you can guess, uh, Sniper Rifle's a pretty good thing. Thank you, Engineer, for letting me demonstrate. Um, so yeah, you want to use this as much as possible. You can definitely use it here, too. And you can uh, grab another Desert Eagle if you didn't have one. And this is where you can come from the elevator. And remember, the elevator active, like, debates automatically. Just keep that in mind. If you were to come this way, um, you could get the shock brooch. Or shock, whatever, I don't even know what the hell any of these opposing force weapons are still. Never mind. Grab this thing and be courageous and jump into the water in this map. Because I don't know. Because I think the water is all connected. If I were to kill myself, uh, like, you know, right in the water... I think I explored every area, yeah, so yeah, that's about it for the map. If I were to do this, I don't know. Would that affect every single, like, the entirety of the water in the map? If it does, if it's so, that that's amazing. That makes this, like, you know, this we, we elevated the map from an A to an A+, plus just because of that. So, you know, I, I really like that. I'm very much, in, like, you know, satisfied by that. So, yeah, uh, subtransit and opposing force uh, gives me pink belly in a good way. Although, I don't know how you'd pink getting pink belly in a good way is possible. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention this was the last of the uh, Half Life into opposing force maps that were released all at once in December. Uh, subtransit here came out December 10th. You might have been able to figure that out because I think I might have said that earlier in another opposing force video anyway, but yeah. Better figured I'd cover my bases real quick. You know, just to back to the computer fan real quick, uh, like in the lack of a computer like fan noise at all on this new computer. Um, I'm not joking. When I was actually genuinely uncomfortable having the computer my computer running and it didn't make a bunch of noise, like I I'm not joking. Like I'm not playing this up to like the like you know, haha, it's so funny. I might have forgotten one area real quick when we were talking about the map. Let me just check. Yes, I always forget. This is how you get back up from there. But yeah, I was sitting there, and I'm like, something's wrong. Like, it's one of those instinctual things that, you know, like, you know, your body, like, telling you in nature, someone's about to pounce on you, that kind of, like, instinct feeling. Except it was because, like, I was getting that feeling because there was no computer fan blazing my ears out. It's gonna take some time to get used to, but, you know, that is, that is what progress is sometimes. You know, sometimes you really gotta take a look at yourself in the mirror and wondering what you're doing with your life. Because, you know, you failed the joke. As you can see, a new computer 2 does not make my aiming any less terrible than it already is. Fuck! Oh, 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 what a scene! So yeah, that was, uh, Subtransit Opposing Force. 
Absolute lad of a map. Go play it. So I'm at a bit of a crossroads here because I finished all the oppo official Opposing Force Deathmatch maps and I actually had every attempt to move on to the capture the flag mode. Except JK Body doesn't work with it literally at all. Like, because you know, you had to select your team. JK Body is physically incapable of joining a team. So you, they would all join the server and it would just be you still because they'd just be sitting there in the menu, technically. And the only other bot I tried, Sandbot, does have support for the capture the flag mode. But it's just really Spartan in terms of how it's set up, its options, and just even how, like, the bots navigate. It, it just feel like it wouldn't, I, it wasn't going to do the mode justice. So, unfortunately, there's, we are going to be a no-go on the uh, capture the flag maps. Which is a real goddamn shame because I remember them being really fun and I thought I, there was a lot I think I would have, have had to talk about and to say if I could like, you know, show you the capture the flag maps. And you could argue, well, why don't you just walk around in an empty map? No, that's stupid. That's no, I, I want to, even if it's bots, I want to actually show you like a false simile, at least the, like the real experience. So, you know, that, 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 that sucks. Uh, I have absolutely no idea what we're going to be doing next. Like, I don't know if we're going to be going just back to fi finishing up Half-Life maps, like the PS2 maps, or if I'm going to... I have a vague idea, maybe some other stupid idea I might do, and I, like, you know... Again, I, I need to reiterate, I intended to have these map videos done months ago. Like, this is just going to be a short-term little thing, but now it's all I do. Go figure. Anyway, I'm going to shut the fuck up. Bye now.